Yeah, all right. Um, today I'm going to be making some A4 letter trays. Um, based because the ones I've got which are plastic and they're very flimsy and I thought best upgrade them. So I mean this is like the style I've currently got. And as you can see there, there's plenty given them. So I thought I might as well upgrade them. Um, I've got quite a bit of pallet of wood uh, left from a while ago. And as you can see from this shot that there is quite a bit there. Um, there's some thick pieces and some thin ones. The thin ones are going to be for the um, the base, and then the thicker pieces I'll use them for the sides, but they'll be thinned down again. So you'll have just seen there um, some of the wood. It's different sizes. Um, there's different, like well, it's not all straight, so I'm going to have to get them all on the table, so straighten them out. the next few clips I'd forgot that I turned the microphone volume down when using the table saw and band saw and I didn't increase it again until later on. So here I'm just explaining about how I'm going to work out the best uh, orientation of the grain and then also checking to make sure there'll be enough room for the back and the sides to go on. Just ignore that second bit in the background because I only in the end make one tray, not two as I originally planned to do.
here you can see me um, flush trimming the back piece and I'm using my Japanese flush saw to do so in this clip you can see is checking the uh, final fit of the frame so that in the next clip you will see me actually trimming the base so that it fits perfectly. So here I decided that I'm going to do a bit of a shape on the sides, which will be at the front of the tree. And I'm just giving them a rough 45 degree angle, cutting them with my mitre saw, that's the mitre hand saw. And then later on I will give them a bit of a flush trim with a chisel, so they're right on the front of the tree. Oh sanding, who doesn't love sanding? Well, I suppose not many people. Um, this is just sanding the base, which obviously I did both sides of. Um, I have also we call a side and the back and the side, but I won't bore you by showing all that detail as well because it didn't really take much or didn't take long. But I'll let you enjoy watching the rest of this bit. Here we have the final globe. Um, you can just imagine the concentration on my face as I'm doing this. Tongue sticking out and everything. Just add on the last couple of clamps here. Um, obviously, you have to use the pieces I cut off to make sure the clamps were secure. Um, but I managed them. I had to get one piece out of the bin. And just like that, it's all dry, so time to remove the clamps. Obviously, this was the next day, not just two minutes later. So actually now I'm just applying the teak oil as the finish, starting on the base, then I'll turn it over and I'll just use some like rests which I made myself um, before I apply it to the, the top and the rest of the sides. But let me know in the comments if you actually like a lot of these pieces um, speeded up. Or do you just like watching what is a sense of raw footage slowed right down to normal sp speed? Um, because I'd be really interested in all that so I can get my videos a lot better than what they are. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please do uh, click on the like button. And also, if I've said before, if you're feeling brave enough, um, do subscribe to the channel and thank you to all of those who have recently subscribed it's really appreciated and hopefully I will see you all in my next video well I won't see you but you'll see me but you know what I mean see you later